Yam Yam brings to you super quick and easy unicorn food hacks. If you want savoury, we've got unicorn pasta. If you want something for a movie, we've got unicorn popcorn. If you want something super sweet, we've got unicorn pancakes. So, let's get started. Hack number one, unicorn pasta. First of all, you just cook your pasta like you normally do in boiling water. Once it's ready, you stick two tablespoons of water in a Ziploc bag and add some cooked pasta to that. Next, add in your food colouring. We're starting with blue. Squish it around a bit, careful not to break up the pasta, making sure you colour each piece of spaghetti or whichever type of pasta you've used. Then you just put it all together. Hack number two, unicorn popcorn. Spread it out on a baking tray, then melt some white chocolate and add some food dye to the white chocolate, making your beautiful array of colours. Then you just drizzle that over your popcorn using a spoon. Add some marshmallows, some candy, whatever you fancy. You can snip up some jellies if you like. Now refrigerate that for one hour and voila! It's ready to go. Hack number three, unicorn pancakes. Add 200 grams of self-raising flour, two teaspoons of caster sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder to a bowl. Mix them up with 300 milliliters of milk and 25 milliliters of oil. Don't forget your eggs, three of those. Whisk it all up together. You've got your pancake mixture, super easy. Spoon it into several bowls, as many as you like really, adding your different food colorings. We're using blue and yellow, and let's add some pink. Then we just cook those on a low heat in our frying pan, turning them over part way, making mini pancakes we are. And layer them like so. Let's add some buttercream frosting for a finishing touch. Beautiful pattern using serrated edge nozzles, some popcorn and marshmallows for the topping, some jelly beans for some colour. And there you have it. Want to know how to make a super effective yet super easy unicorn cake? Well, Nyam Nyam are going to show you how, using loads of buttercream icing, vanilla cake, and of course fondant icing for the decorations, even edible paint. So let's get started. First of all, get some yellow fondant icing and roll it into a sausage shape. Then we're going to wrap that around a popsicle stick to get a nice twisted unicorn horn. We can paint that with edible paint. We're using gold. Now we're going to get some white fondant icing and roll it out flat because we want to cut out some ears. Two large ones and two smaller ones, which are going to be stuck onto the large ones for the inner ear. Next, we're going to fold them around a candle to make sure that they are nice and curvy and use that gold paint to paint the inner ears. Next, we get our sponge cake and we coat it in buttercream icing and we're going to layer it with five sponge cakes and buttercream icing in between each one. You can make your cake as tall as you like. Either pre-made cake from the shop or make it earlier. Completely coat it in buttercream icing. And then use some coloured buttercream frosting to pipe on for decorations. We're using different nozzles to create a floral effect. You could do any pattern you like a little bit down the side. So this floral buttercream icing is going to look like the unicorn's hair. And then we're going to paint on some unicorn eyes with lashes using black food colouring. Stick in the horn and the ears and there you have it. Yam Yam brings to you an exquisite French white macaron recipe delicately decorated to resemble unicorn faces. And who doesn't love a good unicorn? These are a fantastic treat for any magical occasion and we're sure you can't help but smile when you feel the elements all in one bite. All you need is some almond flour, eggs, caster sugar, butter, icing sugar, sprinkles and some food colouring. So let's get started. All you need is two egg whites in a mixing bowl, whisk them up till they're nice and white and frothy, add 55 grams of caster sugar to that. Next, sieve in 100 grams of ground almonds and 75 grams of icing sugar, a little bit at a time, mixing it as we go. Pipe those onto your baking tray, adding on a unicorn horn and ears to each one. 
Ah, cute. Bake those for 15 minutes at 140 degrees. Meanwhile, get 100 grams of room temperature butter. Whisk it up in a mixing bowl with 200 grams of icing sugar. Adding that a little bit at a time so we don't make too much of a mess in the kitchen. There, now we've got our macarons. We're gonna turn one upside down and pipe on your buttercream icing, sticking on the other half. Doing that with all of them, then we're gonna add sprinkles around the edge of the buttercream icing. Lovely and colorful. Now add 100 grams of icing sugar with 40 milliliters of water, adding the water little by little. Then add your food colorings. We're using red and green food coloring. Next, we use little piping bags to pipe on our facial features. Some pretty eyes. Using edible ink for the eyelashes. And there you have gorgeous unicorn macarons. For birthdays or parties, a colourful unicorn cheesecake is always a treat. Yum Yum brings to you a step-by-step -step process to make and bake this beautiful cake. Made with a few ingredients like biscuits, butter, cream cheese, vanilla extract, sugar, milk, gelatin, food colouring and melted white chocolate. This cake is loved by all. So, let's get started. All you need is 15 digestive biscuits smashed up with a rolling pin in a food bag, microwave 60 grams of butter and pour the melted butter onto your smashed up biscuits, stir it all together and then stick it in a baking tin and chill for one hour. Now get 480 ounces of cream cheese, one cup of sugar, two tablespoons of vanilla extract and whisk it all together. Next in another bowl get two cups of hot milk and add two tablespoons of gelatin to that. Whisk it all in and pour it into the cream cheese mixture. Pouring that into three separate bowls and adding your food dye. Blue, purple and then pink. We're going to put that one layer at a time on top of our biscuit base. Chilling each time for one hour. Pink on top. And then get one cup of melted chocolate and dip in some ice cream cones with a few sparkly sprinkles. Chop the top off. Your cake is ready and set. You can add some gumballs on top and upside down cones. And there you have your unicorn horns. Don't forget your giant lollipop and sprinkles, of course. Ready to serve. Delicious. Get ready to bake a perfect birthday party cake, pink and purple with a rainbow unicorn. All you need is some Italian buttercream, split equally into two mixing bowls. Add some food colouring in there, we're going with red food colouring to make a pink buttercream icing and purple food colouring. Put those aside and we get our vanilla cake. We've pre-made this earlier. You can slice the top off and then slice it in half, putting the purple buttercream icing on first. Once that's nice and smooth, we're going to add the next layer and our pink buttercream icing, of course. And then white, so we've got some buttercream which we have not coloured. That goes on the next layer and on the top of our cake. We're going to just smooth around the outside so we can start to layer our beautiful colours. So we're starting with purple and then pink, doing three rows of each colour and then, of course, white. So we've got this kind of Neapolitan effect around the edge of our cake, smoothing those over and using a plastic sheet to perfect any imperfections. And along the top as well. Then it's ready to decorate. Right, with a serrated edge knife, we're going to make a line pattern around the edge of our cake. And then we're going to just square on some pink and purple alternating buttercream using a serrated edge nozzle through a piping bag. That goes around the bottom edge of our cake. Beautiful. Now time to rainbow sprinkle on the top and a little along the bottom edge too. Ready for fondant icing to decorate. So we're going to just mould our shapes here because we want to make a unicorn. So here's the legs and the body, add a head on that and some arms and of course ears, hair and a face. It's a sleeping unicorn, so let's have the eyes shut. Now, using multicolored rainbow fondant icing, we're gonna roll them into sausage shapes and make a rainbow. And some clouds. Placing our unicorn on the edge of the cake, we're gonna put the rainbow on top and take a slice out of a cake with a spoon, putting a little bit on the unicorn's mouth, ah, and on his hand. Makes the unicorn look like he's fallen asleep whilst eating some cake, ah, so cute. 
There you have it. Super simple. And Turn your pool party into a dreamy one with this beautiful unicorn cake. All you need is 430 grams of cake mix, three eggs, 70 milliliters of oil, and 300 milliliters of milk, whisked together in a mixing bowl, using an electric whisk for ease. Now we separate that out into six different bowls, and in each bowl we add a different food coloring. Mixing those up, a beautiful array of colours at your fingertips. Right, now we're going to put them one by one into our bundt cake tin mould. Just drizzle them in there, creating a rainbow marble effect. Bake that for 30 minutes at 170 degrees centigrade. Now, time for the fun part! We're going to make our rainbow unicorn using fondant icing. A gold horn, a white head and rainbow coloured hair. Time to prep our bundt cake, ready to decorate with our unicorn. Now, being very generous, put some white buttercream icing on the outside of our bundt cake once cooled and add our unicorn head and tail. And there you have it! A beautiful unicorn cake with a fantastic array of jazzy colours hidden on the inside of our white buttercream and of course, our rainbow unicorn. Delicious!